What's going on? Welcome back to the Two Wheeled Rider YouTube channel. My name is Mario Orsini, and in today's video, I'm going to give you a short review of the Oakley Airbrake Prism Goggle. All right, so I've been off for months not making videos, but um, I have been testing out some new products, so look for some product review videos coming up on the channel in the coming weeks. I realize a lot of my audience uh, are ADV riders and tours. But some of you that wear those ADV style helmets, uh, you might want to think about getting a set of goggles instead of using the shield all the time. So just something to consider while you're watching this video. Obviously for off-road motocross purposes, that's what these things are primarily built for. So why Oakley? Well, I've been a huge fan of Oakley sunglasses for like 20 plus years. One of the other things that uh, kind of turned me on to this goggle is the fact it has the prism lens. If you've never looked through a pair of Oakley prism lenses, be they goggles or sunglasses, you are missing out. They're awesome. It's like putting your world in high def. I will try to get you some sort of image on the screen to kind of show you what it looks like, but it makes the darks darker, the brights brighter. It gets rid of the, it just shows more contrast. Think of it as like a, a really cool filter uh, from a, from a video or a or, or a camera when you can go in and post you're looking at the best of the best image all the time through these lenses it's no different on these goggles than it is my sunglasses so i want to go over a few of the specs tell you what i think of them because i've gotten quite a few rides in these already so uh, let's get started with the first part uh, one of the things you're going to notice is the headband on this is not as wide as it is on some other even lower end goggles. This one is a little short of 40 millimeters. Some of the higher end goggles, 50 millimeter. And, um, you know, even my race crafts that I, I had been riding in the last few years has a 45 millimeter band. Uh, but when you look on the back here and flip it over, you can see you've got three strips of silicone. I've had no problems with the band moving around on my helmet. Obviously, you've got the adjuster here in the back. This foam is about the softest foam that I've had up against my face. Uh, obviously, you got multiple densities here. They're super comfortable up against your face. Now, this goggle's been out for quite a few years. It's not new. It's just new to me. But what I like about it compared to the other goggles I've been running, Oakley was the first to do this. They put in an injection molded lens. So that bad boy's solid. Oakley's known for their impact protection. That's why you see a lot of baseball players wear their sunglasses. You know, a lot of athletes wearing them, aside from the fact that they're probably sponsored. Uh, but they do meet a higher safety standard than your typical uh, Lexan lens. The other cool thing about this is how quickly these are to change. You just grab these little pieces right here. This bad boy pops right out off of these tabs on the end. It's a little bit. There you go pops right off of there and you are ready to swap out your lens or clean your lens or whatever you need to do to it. Um, you know, you might want to swap it out for a clear lens, whatever the case may be, or you might just want to get in there and do a little bit of cleaning. So it's as simple as just popping the lens over top of the two end tabs on here. And then, oops, locking it back in. I mean, the other ones, if you're used to them, you've got all these little things you got to line up. This is way quicker. I don't typically swap out my lenses very often, but when I'm cleaning the goggle, it's nice to pop out of there. So what else? Um, you, do have, you do have outriggers on here, so it helps with the placement up against your face so you don't get that uneven pressure depending on how it's fitting in your helmet. Um, this nose piece is removable. You can see down here on the bottom, these two little tabs pop off if you don't want it. Typically, I've always removed the nose pieces on my goggles, but this one doesn't get in the way, so I've just left it on there. So I mentioned the comfort of, of this foam. The overall comfort of the goggle is amazing. Um, not to say some of the other goggles I have haven't been comfortable, but this one, it's, it's like I don't even know I have it on, aside from the fact that when I look through this lens, the view is amazing. The really neat thing about this prism lens versus your standard tinted lenses that have traditionally come in goggles is, especially if you're an off-road rider or, or a woods rider, when you go back into the woods, obviously it gets darker. And sometimes it makes it a little bit harder to see those shadows or, or and when I say shadows, you know, things like roots, stumps, you know, that kind of stuff coming up in the trail. This doesn't do that. When you're out, you know, riding in the field, it gives you that tinted view, it, it gets rid of the glare, but then when you go back in the woods, you've got all that definition. It's just crazy. 
The other nice thing about these goggles is what comes along with it is, you know, you're probably used to getting the bag. The bag's not a big deal. Almost every set of goggles, I think every set of goggles I've ever bought, uh, come along with a bag. Nice thing about the bag is a microfiber bag. So you can store your goggles in there. Also, you can use this bag to clean your lenses when you get smudges and fingerprints on them. But something Oakley has thrown in is a case for your goggles, which is really, really nice, which I'm gonna get to the major con on these goggles here in a second and say <laughs> they should include a case for, for this con. Um, obviously, they will accept uh, tear-offs, just like your, you know, any other goggles do. Uh, like some of the higher end ones, what they've done with the tear off post, obviously you got the two on the lens, but then you got the tear off post out here on the outrigger. That's pretty standard for a higher end goggle. The other thing I like that they did, if you're familiar with roll offs, other companies have roll offs. What's cool about this is if you want to buy roll off, uh, a roll off kit after the fact, you can just buy the kit. It clamps right on to the outriggers and you're ready to go. And that kit is pretty affordable at about 50 bucks, which is right in line with what other uh, companies charge. So. Um, that's my little mini review of, of some of the specs and features and stuff on it. If there is a con, these bad boys are expensive, but you should kind of expect that. Oakley's never been cheap. I believe these retail for $210. Now, 100% has come out with the R Mega, which is probably the closest competitor to this goggle. It is, you know, it is a good bit cheaper. I'll flash the price up on the screen because I can't remember it off the top of my head. But this was the first. So... If you go to motosport.com or Rocky Mountain ATV and look around though, you can get these for about half off for last year's colorways. And that's what I did. So these ended up being, I believe $105, which is a little bit easier to uh, comprehend, a little bit easier to afford. But like I said, they did include a case with it, which is very nice. And obviously you got your, uh, your microfiber cloth bag. So, um, so anyways, those are some of the specs on the goggles. My buddy Tyler tried them on when we were out riding a few weeks ago and he's like, holy crap, like I gotta get a pair of these too. How much do I like them? I like them enough that I bought another pair because these are gonna be my go-to goggle from here on out. One thing I failed to mention, it does come, I'm assuming it's got a coating on it, it does come with a fog-free lens. I went out the first time in these and you know I worked up a sweat there pretty quickly. Tyler and I were riding some really technical stuff and we were sitting around talking and then, you know, kind of catching our breath and I never took my goggle off and he goes, Aren't those things fogging up? And I went, No, they're they're not. So the uh, the anti fog lens on here does work pretty good. Um, like I said, tear offs are available if you want to get a roll off kit, all those sorts of things. So anyway, the guys, those are my thoughts on the Oakley Airbrake Prism goggle. If you're not interested in the Prism lens, you can get these in just a regular tented lens or you can get a clear lens. I do have a backup clear lens for mine for those really, really overcast days where you might just want to wear, you know, a clear one. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, considering that subscribe button, because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about these goggles, anything I didn't go over, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.